Well, good morning. It is Monday, February 6th, and I decided I'm going to vlog today. It's the first day we're doing dialysis at home. So I thought it'd be an interesting day to vlog. It is currently 8.15. I just dropped RJ off at school and Layla off at daycare. Jesse is still at home. He had kind of a rough night. His blood sugar was up and down. So we've kind of taken it easy this morning. Now we have a lot happening today besides doing dialysis. Our contractor is supposed to be coming by this afternoon to take a look at uh, the plumbing situation for the dialysis machine currently. And I'll show you this later. We have it kind of snaking through to the bathroom. But we do have water and drain access in the wall of that room. So he just needs to make the access for us. And so he's going to come and check that out. Plus, I'm getting my first big delivery of supplies today. It should be 34 boxes on a pallet. And they're going to bring them down to the basement. That's this afternoon. As well as that, um, I got some work to do today. I'm about to go ahead to Target and pick up a quick pickup order that I placed last night for a medication that I need. If Sunny is out of town, uh, getting their orthodontic work done. So I am going to uh, get started. So here is my planner for the day. I'm just doing a very simple list, kind of, and I use the Moxie Life tape. Fun fact, what I did was I put the hours from 7 to 5.30 during the week because I don't really, at least lately, I haven't doing, been doing a lot at night. But then on the weekends, I put them from 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. so that I could put The Last of Us. That's kind of the fun of using tape to put it in. But anyway, so on my list for top three for personal today is to vlog, fill out the dialysis calendar, and finish meal planning. And then I've got Layla daycare time, dialysis times, the supply window, a couple of things left to do, but it's pretty simple today. So I'm going to take my work planner upstairs with me and my iPad, and we'll see if I can get anything done while I am sitting there. I am successfully dialyzing. It took a little bit of extra time. We had some hiccups, but we got it done. And now I have a hat on because the sun is coming through the window. It should move shortly, but in the meantime, it's blocking it. Aren't I stylish? So treatment is done. I thought I would give you an outfit of the day because why not? <laughs> I'm just wearing pajama pants and one of my go wild shirts because like and my socks that say that I'm a fucking delight because I'm doing dialysis at home and we my hair is a mess I'm even wearing makeup and you probably couldn't even tell uh dialysis is done Jesse is currently moving the car because we just got word that the uh supplies are getting delivered so dialysis went pretty the beginning was a little rough but we finished it great. So I do still have some work to get done today. I got a little bit done while I was on the computer, but we also need to wait for the supplies and I am hangry. Look at that supplies. My goodness. <laughs> Look at this leisurely man who like perfectly matches my bedding. Sir. Hi kitty. Hi buddy. Okay, so here I am in the car with my little sun visor because the sun is just right in my face, which has been the theme of this week. The other theme is that I am really not sure how to vlog right now because I have been so either working or out of it or stressed or wanting to chill out. And it's just, let me, let me backtrack. It's Tuesday. So it's the day after I started this video. We have now done two successful treatments. Although, like I said yesterday, I think the first treatment was a little rough. Second treatment, still had a few rough patches, but was a lot better the second time. So I think we're going to settle into it fast. But Jess and I are both really starting to feel the stress of him going back to work while we're doing this. That's one of my stress points is him going back to work. Another one which I talked about in our live was the uh, insurance situation. My, his employee, sorry, I keep switching my hands because one of them has wounds in it and the other one is just tired. Um, so his work insurance does cover dialysis, but we have to pay 20%. 20% of one dialysis treatment is pretty fucking expensive. And while I do have an out-of-pocket maximum, I'm still trying to figure out about the whole Medicare thing. So stay tuned for that. But that's stressing me out. Jesse going back to work is a little stressful. And then the other big piece of it that I'm, I kind of talked about a little bit on Instagram is this level of... I want, don't want to say survivor's guilt. I don't think that that's accurate. But there's something. 
there's RJ texted me. I had a picture that Jesse took of me when I was on dialysis on Monday with the hat on. I'll pop that picture here because it's pretty funny. We sent that picture to RJ and his response was that he wishes grandma could have seen it. And I agree. Grandma would have thought it was hilarious. And I wish she was here so I could talk to her about this. I mean, she thought home hemodialysis was the most ridiculous idea ever. So, you know, she probably would have been giving me shit every time I'm like, yeah, this one thing sucked. And she's like, yeah, I told you, you should have done it in the center. <laughs> but, um, but it would have been nice to talk to her about this. And what I really wish is I had my parents, my dad, because I wish he had this option. I wish he even had the option to do dialysis. He didn't, he didn't have health insurance. And so he didn't even know how bad things were getting before he died. And my mom, I wish she was here because I just wish I had my mommy to talk to. This is really bringing up a lot of grief that I wasn't anticipating. Oh, bus, you could have just stayed there. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of unanticipated grief that I really wasn't expecting. Thankfully, I have my therapist appointment tomorrow, so maybe we'll talk about that. But I'm starting to feel a little bit better uh, physically. Mentally, I'm actually in a pretty, aside from these stressors, I'm actually in a fairly good place. I'm just, I want to get into the routine of it, but we can't like haul ass through this. That's something Jesse keeps reminding me of because I am somebody who wants to just go, go, go and get shit done. If I know what I'm supposed to do, I just want to do it and get it over with. And go, go, going in this process can lead to me getting an infection or getting blood everywhere or whatever the case may be. So we need to take things methodically. They'll become second nature. They're already starting to in some, some respects, but I can't push through it. I can't rush through it. And I think what's really settling on me is even if I did push through it, even if I did rush through it, I'd still have to do it again. I don't finish. I'm never going to be finished with this unless I get a transplant. And even if I get a transplant, for one, kidneys don't always kick in right away. So some people get a transplant and have to be on dialysis after the fact for a little bit until the kidney wakes up. Sometimes a transplant doesn't work. And you have to go back on dialysis. Sometimes it takes 85 years to get a transplant, which is kind of where I'm at right now. Sometimes you get a transplant when you're young enough that you outlive the transplant and you have to go back on dialysis until you can get another transplant. This is forever or some form of forever for me. And I think that is also part of the grief that I'm like not really facing right now. I'm so excited about feeling a little bit better. I'm so overwhelmed with all the things. And I have so many stressors about like our day-to-day -day shit, like Jesse going back to work, that the implications of it have not settled on me yet, but they're lurking and I can feel them there. And maybe that's something to talk to my therapist about too. I guess the reason I wanted to talk about this real quick while I'm sitting here in the car, not only because I need to end this vlog somehow, but also because I think it's important for me to document these things for my own self, but also maybe for you. If there's something complicated in your life and you're grappling with it, you're not alone. You're really not. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this up here because I'm going to pick up RJ, go home and do a live stream. Jesse is going to go pick Sunny up from the airport and then get Layla and then dinner's in the crock pot. And tomorrow is an off day from dialysis, but the cleaners are coming. Like I said, I have a therapist appointment and I'm going grocery shopping. I still need to get work done. So this is... It's interesting. I'd just love to hear from you in the comments. Do you have any questions about dialysis? I know Jess and I answered a bunch of them, but if you have any more, just let me know. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, friends, peace.